What's up, you guys? I'm Eleanor, otherwise known as Coach L. It's a really big gift to be here. Um, so just going to be super transparent. I was married for 10 years, and he left me for his high school sweetheart after our fourth kid and ended up um, accumulating three jobs after the week that he left. And at the time, I only um, had kids under the age of 11, so right now they're a little older, um, just by a year. But anyhow, um, <laughs> So working three jobs and then soon later accumulated the fourth, which was the one that took a lot of my time. And I was a personal trainer at a gym and I worked about 10 hours, six hours a day. And the thing that bothered me most was that I fought really hard for my kids so that they could have the consistency in the life that they deserve to heal and to start living again. And I fought for them only to be away from them. And I thought that was the most ridiculous thing and it started to eat away at me. And to be perfectly honest with you, Working and hustling, I'll do it, but it's so unsustainable. It's so not life-giving. And it came to the point where I reached the point of what felt like my final death. It was October of 2018, a good friend of mine, Brent Williams, and he looked at me, he's like, what's up? I was like, I think I'm done. He's like, what do you mean you're done? I'm like, I think this is it. Like, I think I'm just gonna kind of just go by through life, and if the death of me comes, then it comes, because I was so done. And he laughed at me and he said, huh, let's see how far that gets you. So what do you mean by that? I'm not playing. He's like, because that's not the Eleanor that I knew or that I know. And to be honest with you, I lost myself. I didn't know Eleanor anymore. And he said, come, to, come with me to this event called Abundance. I was like, I don't want none of that stuff. He's like, just come. I said, look, I'll go if my kids can get covered. Lo and behold, my kids got covered. I ended up going. And I remember being such a wreck. And I saw Nick. And he asked one question. And he said, what do you want? And I wrote it down. And then the mic was handed to me. And I said, I just want to be whole on the other side of this thing. Is that possible? In like three or four days, is that even possible? And kid you not, it was. I came out of there after four days and I felt my heart beat again. I felt like, okay, maybe I could kind of see Eleanor a little bit more. And what I didn't realize that that was just the beginning of self-discovery to come back. And there was an opportunity to work with Nick and I heard his story. I'm like, man, he knows what it's like to have one present parent in the home. And I saw the success of his life not just the money, but the fact that, look at him, he's thriving, and how many people is he impacting? His family so beautiful and such an example to me and many others, and I was like, I want to be whole and I want to live, and um, I knew that he was very valuable. I was barely making rent, still working four flipping jobs, and I still didn't have enough, and I'm like, how am I even going to afford this coach? But I need him. Something needs to change. I had to make a decision that day. It was either, A, I was going to live the rest of my life with the discomfort of hustling four jobs and not making it, or I was going to live with the discomfort temporarily to make ends meet and figure out and resource up how to lay it down and, and afford this guy to change my life. And let me tell you, I had one call, one one-hour phone call with Nick Unsworth. Had no idea what in the heck I was going to do. And he took my mess and he said, let's, let's make something marvelous. Let's take your mess and put momentum behind you and let's make a masterpiece. Let's go. And he helped me find my vision. He helped me take all my strengths. He pretty much helped me see Eleanor and say, what were you designed to do? Come back, let's do something about it. And so now within one phone call in a week, I had three clients, a newly launched business. And after that, it was just success after the next. I left my fourth job. I was finally able to be home with my kids. I mean, they're on vacation and I actually get to be with them. Like literally, I get to hold them. I get to hear their fighting and their bickering and love them all at the same time. <laughs> you know, I'm on coaching calls and they're screaming on the other side of the room, but I'm like, hey, I asked for it, right? <laughs> but see, this is the thing, is legacy is so key. Everyone's gonna leave a story. We're all gonna leave a story. And that story is either gonna be negatively impactful or positively impactful. And we have a choice to make. And the price to make an impactful decision or a negative one is pricey. It's going to cost you time, money, relationships, your life. But this is the deal. The reason why it's pricey and worth it to make an even greater investment for intentional positive impact is because people matter. And for me, it was this. It wasn't just time with my kids. It's that I wanted to leave a story behind so that they can continue to leave a story behind for the people that they haven't even met yet. You're sitting here because there's a generation after you. There are humans that you have not made contact with yet the possibility of flipping the world around for something greater. This is the deal, is you need at least just one person to help you remember who you are because you deserve to stand in the gap for someone who deserves you to stand in their gap so that they can start thriving as the individual that they were designed to be. That's why you're here. You're trying to figure out who you are. 
Because the minute that you're face to face with yourself and you see, I'm just gonna say, the beast that you are to make things happen, then everything's a possibility. So what, what did it take from me? Is it took a coach, it took Nick Unsworth to believe in me, to help me see Ellen Oregon and come back and live again. And then it took a community that came from this. I mean, gosh, I don't know if you've ever had time to spend with like Megan and Nick and Brian and Stephanie, but they are so authentic and real. Their public and private world are congruent. So you're getting the real duo team here. And I just have to say this, is that the question I have for you is what story are you gonna leave behind? But how fast are you gonna leave that story and make it happen? And is it really worth it? Is the cost, the sacrifice really worth it for the people that you haven't even met yet? that they're gonna change lives, that they're gonna change lives, that they're gonna change lives, because this is the deal. We're not promised tomorrow. And once our life is gone, people move on. But the story that we leave, the experience that is left behind, the impact, the message, that gets passed on over and over and over again. And when one person catches it with speed, it just keeps growing. And so the question for you today is, what's the risk? What's the investment? What's, what's the challenge and, and what's the cost? for the lives that you were designed to impact that you haven't even made that decision for yet because today is now. Tomorrow may not be here. So there's a story, there is a legacy and you have the possibility and the opportunity to take these two guys, the whole team and say, let's, let's, let's take the mess and let's make some momentum and let's make a masterpiece and flip this world around for good. So that's my story. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.